welcome everybody to the campus of the, Un the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth and we are set for high school baseball here on Dartmouth Community Media. Ben Smith here on the call with you alongside my friend Chad Amaral. Chad, pretty anticipated matchup and as we see at the re uh, records right now, upon a quick coming in here at 9 and 10 in Dartmouth. Wow, what a season for them. 14 and 5 and today's senior night, so yeah, Dartmouth comes in rolling and playing really well. And upon quit, according to their coach, is playing some of their best baseball at the, uh, of the season right now. The second so. half of the season. So we should have a we should have a good match of both teams coming in rolling. And at, we got the upon quits throwing out their ace Lucas Tremblay and Dartmouth throwing out Aiden Smith. So it should, def should definitely be well pitched, well well played game. Yeah, and once again, like you just mentioned. Um, we just talked to the coaches earlier in the game. I talked to Coach um, Coach Freights here. Um, he said that more or less things uh, still got still got more things to come as well um, because the playoffs are along their way um, because they have won 10 games so far. They're 17th ranked in the state. Um, upon a quit, 9 and 10. If they win today, they clinch the playoffs today. Dar Dartmouth, it's a senior day for seven of the seniors, which we'll see coming up. But for Dartmouth, it's about getting a win today to clinch at least one home game in the state tournament. So, folks, we will have coverage of the uh, first pitch coming up soon uh, and senior night coming up soon as well. So stay tuned for that and don't go anywhere. And we are back here at the campus of the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. Ben Smith, Chad Amaral on the call with you today. And as you can see, it is senior night and the parents are coming onto the field. Um, and we have seven seniors here on this wonderful class. Um, yeah, always an emotional day last time. I mean, they, they have states, but this is one of their last games together as a team. So I'm sure, sure these guys are pumped for today yeah um, so right now we are going to take our attention to the, to the third baseline and the first baseline the at this time the Dartmouth High School Athletic Department would like to welcome you to senior recognition day today we will take a look at the baseball program we would like to thank these eight seniors for the effort and dedication they have shown over the past oh. four years. Okay. It is deeply appreciated by your community, your school, and especially your coaches. Hopefully during your time here, you learn a lot about baseball, something about life, and a lot about yourself. To the parents, thank you for your support, and most importantly, raising your sons into the young men that stand before you today. All right, we, can get we hope you are as proud of them as we are. Our first senior is Luke Aronson with his parents, Lucinda and Michael. And here is Luke Aronson being introduced, number 24. Zach Aruda and his parents, Jeff and Jen. Zach Aruda, parents, Zach and Jen. Ryan Coppola. Jack Joquin and his parents, Mark and Maria, and his sister, Emma. Jack Joquin, father, Mark, mother, Maria, sister, Emma. Chase Lackey and his parents, Chuck and Cindy. Chase Lackey and parents, Chuck and Cindy. Jacob Lancaster and his parents, Becky and Tim. Jacob Lancaster, parents, Becky and Tim.
Matt Larivia and his parents, Cindy and Michael. Matt Larivia, parents, Cindy and Michael. And Christian Silva with his mom, Lucille, and sister, Zoe. Christian Silva. And that is your senior class of the Dartmouth High School baseball team this year. What a year, Chad, I have to admit, from these uh, seniors who have worked and paid off some of their due diligence in the past four years in this program. Um, yeah. Not four years because of that COVID year, so three years technically. Um, but again, they have been working and paying off their due diligence whatsoever. Yeah, it's an emotional day for them, but it's an emotional day for their parents, too. How, how many hours have they spent at the bees, ba at baseball <laughs> fields? I mean, as a parent, you're taking your kid to baseball three, three, four months out of the year. These guys are, go are playing baseball games. I'm sure they spend a lot of time at Crapo. And um, this is... You remember yeah. those days. <laughs> yeah, as a father now, ta still taking my, t taking my son to g games three days a week. And this is... It, 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 the parents have put in a lot of time, too. So this is uh, the culmination of a lot of years of baseball. And for a lot of guys, I mean, they're not going to play college baseball. So high school baseball is as far as they go. And so it's it, it definitely a great experience for them. All right. And we are about to get ready and ready to rock here at the campus of the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. Um, right now, um, it's a bit of a great sunny day right now outside here um it is windy as usual it's here. windy but 68 degrees mostly sunny skies today and we are expecting it to be in the mid 60s today um managers exchanging the lineups um we we already have our, our copy of the line li of the lineup ben do you want to go through the yep uh, upon a quit lineup yeah we're going to go through the upon a quit lineup batting first is number se number seven dylan brady Batting second is the first baseman, Nate Levesque. Batting third is the third baseman, uh, Caden Sear. Batting fourth is the second baseman, Austin Travis. Batting fifth is the uh, is the designated hitter, number three, Peter Rubini. Batting batting sixth is the pitcher, number twenty four, Lucas Tremblay. Batting seventh, number number twenty-three, Brody Jolie. Batting eighth, Cam Sylvia. Number eighteen, excuse me. Number batting ninth, number four, Justin Sereccia. The the manager of this team is led by Jim Cubicio. And for your Dartmouth Indians, starting first, pitcher, number one, Aiden Smith. Center fielder number two, Aiden, batting second, center fielder number two, Aiden Cruz. Batting third, first baseman, for first baseman number 12, Chase Lackey. Batting fourth, shortstop number one, Chase Fenno. Batting fifth, catcher number 24, Donovan Burgo. Batting sixth, the left fielder number 22, Jack Joquin. Batting seventh, the right fielder number 21, Ryan Coppola, batting eighth, the designated hitter, hitter number 25, Christian Silva, batting ninth, the third baseman number nine, uh, number two, Louis Freitas. And this team is led by uh, by manager Mike Freitas. And he, we have officially, uh, they have officially exchanged their lineups and their team is getting ready to roll here. So for Dartmouth, this is their third game of the week. Um, so we're gonna, that, part of the reason you're gonna see Aiden Smith in there, I was talking to Coach uh, Freights before, and he was he was saying Aiden, uh, been a great pitcher for him, started the season a little late because he was coming off a basket, uh, injured ankle in basketball. Yeah. So he's, uh, but he's starting to Chip get into fracture. a groove. Yeah, he's starting to get into a groove. Um, for Dartmouth, a lot of it, being that it's senior night, a lot of their pitching comes from their senior core. So they're going to have to develop some of these younger guys, the Aidens, the Louis Louis Freitas's of the world, and Chase. <laughs> they're going to have to start pitching. They're going to have to start pitching next year. We're going to. 
because right now a lot of their pitching comes from their senior guys. And they're going to have a lot, a lot of young talent coming next year as well. Um, as we can see, I was watching some of their games for the JV teams, and there's a lot of young talent and a lot of young players. This team has a lot to prove in the years coming up. And coming up to the mound today, Aiden Smith. Um, yeah, Aiden, Aiden plays shortstop and pitch in pitches for Dartmouth. He's and he's leading off, so definitely an important player on this team right now. Yeah, so Ben, we got the the wind blowing in today. So I mean, that always helps a pitcher. You don't want the if you're a pitcher, you want the wind blowing in. You don't want the wind blowing out. So hopefully that helps him, but. The wind is, it's its calmed down a little bit from earlier, so we'll, we'll see. Yeah, um, like you just said, you want it to be in if you are a pitcher. Um, and so far, it hasn't affected his game so far, uh, Aiden Smith, who really, like you just said, he has been um, with that injury that he suffered during the um, basketball season this year. It really just sh goes to show that he can play. Yeah, he's made four the starts, band. but uh, his ERA is 1.87 this year. So, I mean, he's putting pretty lights out as a pitcher so far, despite getting a late start to the year. So we'll see, how we, we'll see what he's got tonight. And it's time to play ball, ladies and gentlemen. Sit back and relax, and we have a great baseball game for you all. Starting up is the leadoff man, uh, number seven, Dylan Brady for a Poniquit. If you're Aiden Smith, you want to establish the strike, the strike zone early. Wind and deal, get, here's get the roll. pitch. A little outside there, ball one. A one, one out. And that's outside for a ball two. Just trying to get that outside corner, just a little outside there. Two zero pitch, and that's in for a strike. It looks similar to the pitch before. That was a ball, but he got, he got the call there. The wine and deals. Outside for a ball three. Yeah, he's working that outer half of the plate. He has not come inside at all so far. Three one pitch. Fly ball and that will go out for a foul ball. Three two full count here. This early. Dylan Brady working the count early. Dylan Bradley, here's Smith. Pitch, and that will go as a walk. Aiden Smith walks his first man today. Yeah, not, not the way, you, not an ideal start for Aiden. Coming up, the uh, first baseman, uh, number 25, Nathan Levesque, onto the plate. Wine and deals, outside for a ball. One zero, and outside once again for a ball two. Coach Freight's telling me he's he's, he's got to bend. He's leaving it a little high. Got double play depth in the infield, trying to get out of this. He goes, he tried to pick him off at first. Obviously, the leadoff batter's on. You got a little speed at first, so you're gonna pay him a little more attention. The guy's at the top of the order. It means he's got some wheels and probably probably gonna take off. 2-0, outside, strike. three, uh, oh, strike one. Think Sm Smitty has woken up right now. Yeah, he's throwing hard. You can hear the pop of the mitt. A little outside there, 3-1. He's just missing. I mean, 
he's not missing by much. It's not like he's way off the plate, but he's fallen behind two straight batters to start the game. 3-1. And the hit will go out as a foul. 3-2 full count here. That was a ball, too. He probably could have walked on that. Probably, if you're a, if you're a, you're a coach, you're not thrilled. He, took, he hit that out of the other batter's box. Full count pitch. He's off. Ooh. Didn't matter. Ball four. Ball four, and the runner moves up to second. So two people, uh, two runners who are going to first and second base here. And let's look at the pitch. So, so he had a good jump. I mean, it didn't matter with the ball four, but I mean, he would have had the base either way. So you can feed truck out, but Ponta quit showing that they're going to be aggressive early on, so Burgo's going to have to be pop, popping up quick. Time called here. And we're gonna so sub in a pinch runner. Looks like it is. That's the uh, the courtesy runner. Seth Richards, the junior, coming in. You can um, have a courtesy runner for in high school for your pitcher or your catcher. Yeah, when you're ha a designated hitter. For no, for Jeff, pitcher or catcher. Um, so they can be ready for the next inning. So it's definitely a good strategic move to get some. And what speed. a pitch there from Aiden Smith. Strike one in there for strike. So Aiden's still looking for his first out here. He's got, it's early in the game. You're still going for two. T turn two, worry about. Wine and deals and goes outside for a ball. One and one. Caden Sear at the plate now. Sear hits it down the left field line. Base hit. One runner is coming in, and he gets it in, and it's a one nothing upon a quick game right now. Yeah, he went opposite field on that. He and that is a leadoff single there, an RBI yeah, if you look for Caden Sear. Look at that Sear. That, that he, he took it right down the line, good piece of hitting. He went with the pitch, took it to left field. Good hit. Aiden looking for, I mean, Aiden still looking for his first out here. Here's the pitch outside, ball one. Aiden clear, looks a little frustrated on the mound. Things are, he's around the plate, but he's just just missing. And he's fallen behind and then fallen into the, the hands of the hitters. And he was trying to go to second, but the runner stays. Here's the pitch and a strike there for Aiden Smith. If you're Aiden, you just want to start getting ahead of these counts. He's fallen behind every hitter so far, so. And Outside, ball falls two. Falls behind again, 2-1. Tried to get work a breaking ball in there, but still just a little high. And here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Strike two. Two and two. Need a big out right here. I mean, he's not going to waste one here. He's got to go right at him. Ooh, oh, a little bit outside. Ball. A full count here, 3-2. Hey, hey, right Worst case scenario, you can get a bases loaded right now yeah. for Dartmouth, and a uh, time is called here. I mean, worst case scenario is a hit right here, but you... you you gotta press, you gotta throw a strike, you can't waste it. Can't waste any more pitches. You gotta go after him. You gotta play to contact if they hit it, so so be it. You have a good fielders behind you. And that will be popped and a foul towards the near side. P pound the strike zone right here if you're Aiden. Count still stays the same. Here's the three two pitch coming in for Smitty. Throw your best pitch. Got and it. that's in. One out. That's his first strikeout, Aiden Smith of the day. What are your thoughts on that, Chad? To his credit, he threw a breaking ball on a 3-2 count in a game that he was struggling. I mean, that's a 
that, that shows a lot of confidence in him uh, in his stuff because I mean that's he was he was reeling a little bit and he came back with a big pitch and yeah, that goes one. inside for a strike and that is the designated hitter number three Peter Rubini the variety deals got two so now he's getting a little confidence a little confidence on the mound after some early struggles. Now you just want to keep firing strikes. Get out of this inning and then go from here. They got a good he's got a good offense behind him. So 0-2 pitch. A little outside there, ball one. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go with that breaking ball that he struck out the last batter with. That's kind of like slid right across the plate. There, there it is. And a got him outside. again. Oh, it's a strikeout. Inside there, and that's two strikeouts for Aiden Smith to start. That's two strikeouts on the exact same pitch. He's working that out. Breaking ball. Breaking breaking ball. It's going right across the plate, and he's got to, he's got two guys buckling his knees, buckling their knees, just no, not even a swing. Here's the pitch, outside that's ball a, one. No, it's a strike. Oh, it's a strike. That's the exact same pitch. Three three pitches in a, uh That's the, the same pitch he used to strike out the two hitters. Right now he's feeling that he's feeling good with the breaking ball. Here's the pitch again, grounder down towards the left field line to first in and out. Nice job, Aiden Smith. Aiden that, Smith. That inning could have gotten away from him, could, and instead he came back and got the two Ks and the six three out to end the inning. Good, great, great job. Showed a lot of fight that inning. So that will conclude the middle of the first inning. The order coming up is Aiden Smith uh, batting first, Aiden Cruz batting second, and Chase Lackey batting third. We will be right back right after this. Do not go anywhere. Bottom of the first here, and we are live at the U University of Massachusetts base, uh, Dartmouth baseball field. Ben Smith, Chad Amaral once again on the call today. Um, and we're getting ready for the bottom of the first here. Uh, Pana quit up one nothing after an RBI single from Caden Sear in the first inning. Aiden Smith. Uh, Aiden Smith after getting out of the last inning, now he's... Looking to help himself get on the get get back on the board. Levesque, here's the pitch outside, and that will go as a ball. You can see from him he's got a lot of good fastballs here. Yeah, he's their ace. Wine and deals. Grounder foul. One and one. And here's the pitch. And down below, ball two. The 2-1 two pitch coming. The wine and deals. Ooh. Chopper. And that will be nice an out. Great play there by Caden Sear, the first baseman. Yeah, and The leadoff man is out, one down. He didn't rip that, but it didn't matter. Um, great play by the first baseman over there. Now here is Aiden Cruz, the center fielder here. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. Four seam fastball there from Levesque. Here's another pitch. Swing and a miss once again, strike two. Aiden, one of the better hitters, hitters on this team, batting 279 coming into the game. And 68 plate appearances. The wine and deals, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Got him with the high fastball. And now here is Chase Lackey. Levesque, this, he's only thrown five pitches. 
He's thrown five pitches um, and one strikeout so far for Levesque. On deck is Chase Fenno. And here's the pitch. In there, first strike. Oh, excuse me, a ball there. Outside. Ben, did you notice that the top of the lineup has two Aidens and two Chases back to back? I didn't know that. Yeah, now you know. And outside once again, ball two. Great eyes there by Fenno. The 2-0 pitch. Down below, 3-0. Lackey, one of the one of the seniors on this team, um, he's been solid at first base all year for him. He's definitely a, a guy a stabilizing force in the team that they'll miss. He's he's been solid for them all year. Here's 328. the 0 pitch, and that will be a strike. He was taken there. They gotta. They don't want to go down and eat. They don't want to make this a nine pitch inning. Here's the pitch. Three, and 3-2, three, oh, all count here. Well, back working the outside of the plate there. Here's the pitch. And a high fly ball back down the left field line. And that will be caught three outs there. And that will retire the side, a 1-2-3 inning for Dartmouth. Not a great start for Dartmouth so far in this game. Right now, at the end of the first inning, Aponiquit is up one to nothing. We will be right back with coverage here on Dartmouth Community Media. We'll be right back. Back here on the top of the second inning, one nothing. Upon a quit leads over. Now here's Brady, Brody Jolie for the pitch. Here is the pitch. Wine and Deals hits the ground ball and a base hit. Brody sat on that, ripped it to left. Nice hit to left there by Brody Jolie there. Yeah, that was that was a good swing. I mean. When it right after the first pitch, he wasn't he wasn't sitting there waiting. And the leadoff man goes to first. Aiden had retired the last three batters, so he's getting in a little bit of a roll. Here's the pitch outside ball one. Bunt here and going to the second. And to first, no, he won't. Nice but play. Great nice, one. Uh, nice play by Aiden. That's a tough play on a pitcher because not a, I mean, probably would have been probably would have been an easier play for Donovan because for for Aiden he has to turn all the way around, make the throw kind of off his back foot, but he made a good throw. That's Fenno there. Um, trying to throw it to first there, but not in time as the runner slid into second. I mean, not a great bunt for a pawn quit. Um, that's bunted it a little too hard. You want to bunt that down the third baseline. He bunted it right, right to Aiden. Aiden made a good job, made a good play. And here's a pitch, and that's a strike. Swing and a miss there. This is Justin Sereccia. He's got a little bit of a lead at first, but he doesn't seem to be seem to be looking to test him. Here's a pitch outside. Ball one. Oh, strike two. Yeah, that, was, that ball was on the outer half, but 
Yeah, sometimes you get the... A little bit in... And it was inside as it was. See, Ben Smith, remember that? Because that was a ball. Remember and that one when you, when you don't get the call you and want. And that will go out to the near, to the parking lot, and that will be a foul ball whatsoever. So it doesn't, the count stays the same. 0-2. Oh, Got to put him away right here for Aiden. I expect a breaking ball right here. And here's the pitch. Nope. Went inside. Outs, outside there, ball one. A bit of a great crowd for our student section here. Um, yeah, student section's packed. This is the most I've seen. At, yeah, most I've seen at a game. And here's oh, a little bit outside. Good thing he ducked there. The breaking ball got away from him there. He tried. Three, two, two, two. Excuse me. Smitty to first, and the runner will stay. If I were Aiden, I'd just be worrying about the batter. It's not much of a lead over there. You got a good catcher, Burgo, you should be all right. 2-2 two -two pitch, high fly ball up down the middle, and it will be caught there by Marcus Andrews. And that will be two down. Nice job by Aiden. Top second. Getting that easy pop up right there. Now he's got two outs. Trying to get out of another inning. All you gotta do if you're Aiden Smith is you gotta pull another one uh pull another strike out here. And a foul ball down the left field. I mean if you're Aiden strike one. You don't have, like, the pressure, he doesn't have pressure to strike everyone out. Talking with Coach Freights, Coach Freights, the one thing he preaches is defense, playing solid defense. And uh, so, I mean, he, ha he has a good defense behind him, so he can pitch to contact. He doesn't have to strike everyone out. And, you know, he has a lot of consistency. Here's the 1-0-1 one, oh, one pitch and goes outside for a ball. Like I said, he has a lot of consistency as a young man. You know, in basketball, uh, basketball, he's a really good player, and especially in Chopper. baseball too. Chopper down the left field, right field line goes to first, retires the side, and a scoreless oh, inning for the Aponequit Lakers here. And we are reaching the middle of the second inning, one nothing. Still, your score. Aponequit takes the lead, and we will be right back right after this. Do not go anywhere. And we welcome you all back to the campus of the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. Ben Smith, Chad Amaral once again here on the call today. And Chad, we have a great matchup so far. Uh, Aiden Smith has played phenomenal as a pitcher, but only gave up one hit um, that ended up into an RBI single from Caden Sear. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're Dartmouth, I mean, Aiden has definitely settled down on the mound, but you still need to score some runs now. Levec made quick work of Dartmouth in the first inning. And now here's Chase Fenno, uh, the shortstop batting now. Here's the pitch down below, ball one. Burgo on the mound, uh, on deck, excuse me. Inside, one and one. Lovec, here's the pitch. Outside, oh, uh, inside, that's a strike. Yeah, that was a strike. One, two. Good pitch, across the plate. Lovec's in control so far. And, ooh. And a foul ball, count stays the same, one, two. Fenno coming into the game, betting. 262. Donovan Burgo on deck. And here's Lovec. The one two pitch. And ball two. Great eyes there by Chase Fenno. He thought about it, but he made the right choice. The two two pitch. 
And that is a strikeout. Buried him inside. That's two strikeouts for uh, Levesque so far. And here's Donovan Burgo. Burgo looking to get the Dartmouth, the Indians' offense started. The catcher, Donovan Burgo, up to bat. Burgo, 333 on the year. Pretty decent for a guy like him. Down oh. below, oh, strike one. Donovan does it all. Good defensive player, great bat. Here's Levesque and Burgo, fly ball that will go out and a foul ball there. He was really late on that one. Gotta straighten it out right here. And a free souvenirs for the fans. <laughs> no, wait, no, yeah, no, no, well. Not really. Not at the high school level, they gotta bring, give it back. Gotta protect here. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. And that, he will be down on strikes. And right now here's Jack Joquin, the left fielder here coming in. Joe Quinn, senior, senior outfielder on senior day, looking to get this offense going. Here's a pitch, high fly ball, and that will go out into the parking lot as a foul ball, strike one. Bit of a windy one here today, despite the fact that it's really nice out. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is always windy here on this campus. And that will go outside for a ball. Wines and deals, here's the one one. Swing and a miss and a strike two. Gotta, gotta uh, give credit at the athleticism there from Jack Joquin, keeping the eye on the ball. I mean. Levesque isn't wasting any pitchers. He's going right at the pitches. He's going right at him almost in every pitch. He's and got 2 2. Down below, 2 2. Here's the wine and deals, and that Rizzo. is an out. Three K struck out the side in that one. 1 2 3 inning once again for the uh, Indians. Nate Levesque coming up on the mound. Uh, for uh, hitting next, the batting order, Nathan Levesque, Caden Sear, and Austin Travis. Coming up next, at the end, this is the end of the second inning. Uh, no score, a scoreless inning here. We'll be right back right after this. Do not go anywhere. Top of the third inning here at the campus of the University of Massachusetts, Dartmouth. And what a game we've had so far. Ben Smith, Chad Amaral once again on the call. Here's the pitch, outside, one ball, zero strikes. Yeah, Aiden, have, Aiden, Aiden giving the second, going around the order for the second time right, right here. And, and a chopper down the field, and that's a base hit. Nathan Levesque, the leadoff man, goes to first and now brings up Caden Sear, who is one for one so far with an RBI single. Let's look at the instant replay here, Chad. Uh, great hit. Nice hit. I mean, late late jump in left, but I mean, right at, the, at that point, he was just trying to keep the ball in front of him and not not allow First, it to get by him, keep it to a single. He's called. Try to get that pinch runner there. Here's the pitch. Outside, ball one. Yeah, Sear got a base hit last time up. Drove in a run. Swing and a miss. And that hits the mat there. Oh. 2 0. I, I, don't, I don't. I'm confused with that call there. Outside 3 0. 2 1 there. Correction. Even a little frustrated there. I don't know why. 
I think they called and check. there's a grounder down the right field and to first one away and the runner goes to second nice job by Aiden getting that out I mean it was a so we, when you have these grass infields it, it definitely killed that ball a little bit it wasn't hit hard enough to be a double play so Austin, had to take the safe out at first Austin Travis um, coming in here next here for the Lakers Aiden struck him out looking on his last at bat. Here's the pitch. Loses his cap in a strike. He got Austin with the breaking ball at the end of that last at bat. Let's see if he comes back with it. Here's Smith. Pitch and it's outside ball one. The one one pitch. And here's That's a trouble. loud dinger down the, the gap. gap there. And he brings down a runner. One run scored. Go uh hit, lead off hitter gets a single RBI single there. Uh Austin Travis. And the score nice 2 0. Nice job by Austin Travis finding the gap. Had a runner on second. Easy easy score, easy scoring to play right there. Two nothing. Ponquit jumps out ahead, continues to jump out ahead. And here's the pitch. And in there for a strike. The righty deals. Oh, outside there. Dodged a bullet. One, one. 1-1 one, one with one out. He struck out Rubini last at bat. It's and well. here is the grounder down the left field line. Base hit. A runner goes to second and a runner goes to first base. Uh, the leadoff single. Once again, a single for... Yeah, not, not an ideal start to the inning for Aiden. Three of the first four batters have gotten on against and him. Looks like Coach Freights will go to the mound here and looking for a pitcher change coming up here. Um, yeah, I, I think I just think he, the way Levesque's pitching, you, you don't have a huge margin for error. You, you can't give up a ton more runs because Levesque has, has looked dominant. At, so, I mean, if you're afraid, so you're telling him to bear down. You got two on here, but you can get a, it, get a double play ball, pitch to contact. Don't try to strike everyone out pitch to contact try to get out of this inning because right now every run could be crucial you don't you don't want to fall behind much more than you already have staying in the game and Aiden Smith will still remain at pitcher here Lucas Tr Tr Tremblay up he grounded to short in his last at bat if I'm Coach Freights, I'm telling him pull his stuff together, and you know he. Here is the grounder down left field, uh, right field goes to first, two away here, and a runner goes to third and to second. I, I think what Freights and I've heard him say it from the bench, probably told him there is, Aiden, you don't have to strike everyone out. You get pitch to contact. Pitch to contact is it, correct, as he just said, and now here's. Uh, Brody Jolie, who had a uh, hit in the er early inning, a single. Here's the pitch. Outside, ball one. Yeah, two runners in scoring position just trying to get out of this inning. Outside again, 2-0. Two balls, zero strikes, two outs. Here's the 2-0 pitch from Smitty. And goes outside, 3-0. Come on, Smitty, let's go. Come on, Smitty, come on, you got him. I mean, with two guys in scoring position, he might not be taken here. He could be swinging, so I wouldn't just throw it right over the middle. A lot of confidence in a high fly ball. And Lackey's trying to get under it. He ran oh, out of space. and it goes out towards our truck there. Thought he was going to do some of that. Um, That's what I was saying there with the, bets. 
Yeah, that's good catch there. You know how when he ca caught that one, when he leaps over the fence and tried to catch the ball, but called a home run there. Those years back, that's what it kind of reminds me of a little bit. Here's the pitch from Smitty. Outside and walks the runner. Bases loaded here with two outs to go. Bases loaded. I mean, it's not the worst thing right there. It better, now you now you you get you get a chance to force at any base easy easy out in the infield and try to get out of this inning. And now, Cam Sylvia bunted last time. And that goes inside for a strike there. He dropped the bunt to Aiden last time. And they, he, so, oh for one so far. And the 0 1 pitch goes outside for a foul ball, strike two. One strike away from getting out of this inning. And here's Smitty. Here's a fly ball coming into our direction, and that will go out. Ben Smith, if it comes our way, you're going to catch it? I don't know. I don't want it to break my arm. <laughs> I don't think it'd break your arm. A hundred mile an hour ball coming your way? It's not a hundred miles an hour. You'll be all right, Ben. Catch the ball. Like seven. And it goes inside. And a sh he's got on strikes. I'll save you next time, Ben. Don't worry, I got you. You're not gonna get hit. I'm gonna have to duck under the table if that's the case. All right. Anyways, that is, we have reached the middle of the third inning. We are halfway through the game, two nothing. Upon a quit leads, we will be right back right after this. Do not go anywhere. <laughs> and we are back here at the campus of the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth uh, today. What a beautiful day. It is 65 degrees. Uh, Ryan Coppola up on, back right at bat right now at the mound. Nathan Levesque, here's the pitch. And inside for a strike. That, that one looked a little. That, that one looked like a ball. Looked a little bit outside to me. I think it was towards the um, box zone, but swing and a miss. Strike two there. So far, six up, six down for Dartmouth. They've put no pressure on him, which is unlike them. I mean, they're a very good offensive team, but they've been the bats have been quiet today. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Rounder and strike two. I think he, it's already 0 2 already, but the count stays the same. And Lovec, 0 2 pitch and a high fly and goes out. Hanging in there. Can't tell where the ball landed, it went towards the near end. You're safe, Ben, don't worry. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Got him. And he got him on strikes there. One down. I mean, that was a strike. Definitely had movement, but it was definitely a strike. And now here is the uh, designated hitter number eight, Christian Silva. Here's the pitch and goes out for a foul ball, strike one. Yeah, Levesque keep, keep, still keeping them off balance. Dartmouth does not look, they don't look comfortable at the plate. Not at all today. The I mean, when you're not comfortable at the plate, you start looking at the umpire like it's his fault. But. Rounder down the right field and goes to first. Two away here. In the bottom of the third. Next up, we're gonna bring up Louis Freitas. Levesque still face the minimum. Eight up, eight down. And coming up on deck is the lead off uh, the top of the order here, um, Aiden Smith. So far, no hits going up for Dartmouth today. Yeah, if we had the no hitter, I would tell you not to say that and jinx it, but being that we're being no hit, it's okay. You can bring it up as much as you want, Ben. You don't want to bring up a no hitter when it, when a, when. It's your guy throwing it's, it, yeah. Yeah, because then the next minute, Something might happen, but here's the 0 one pitch, and uh, jammed goes him in, out. Jammed him inside. Jammed him inside once again. 0 for 2. 0 2. Excuse me. Here's the 
Here's Levesque, the 0-2 pitch, winds and deals. Here's the hit, out and a foul. He's out, out a little in front of that. If I'm Louie, I'm hitting it, this ball down left field. Ah, I'm sure you'd... You got open daylight there. Dartmouth will want to hit, hit it anywhere they could right now. And That's... grounder down the left field goes to first. And we're down on strikes. Another one, two, three inning for Dartmouth. No hitter once again. Dartmouth is trailing two to nothing. We will be right back right after this. This is the end of the third inning. We'll be right back. Top of the fourth inning here, uh, Dartmouth is trailing two to nothing over the Aponiquit Lakers. Ben Smith on the call today um, with uh, Chad Amaral. And so far, how are your thoughts on this game, Chad? Well, Dar Dar Dartmouth hasn't hit the ball. I mean, they've nine bet they've sent nine to the plate and had have nine straight out. So there's not much offensively. And Aiden Smith's out of the game. Aiden pitched well. And here's the hit down the right field line, and it looks like Copella will get under it, and he will grab it. One down here on the top of the fourth. Aiden went three, struck out three, allowed two earned runs, so he didn't pitch poorly. He pitched well. Yeah. Um, but the bat, they haven't been able to do any, sustain anything offensively. So, I hit anything offensively, so. Um, we got Chase Fenno, and he's coming more with a sidearm, like three-quarter delivery here. He does... Great job of hiding the baseball until the very end. He kind of just turns his back to the batter. And goes outside for a ball. It's definitely a tricky delivery for Fenno. It's not easy for a batter to pick it up. He, he hides that baseball and until the very end. He's in there for a strike. What a pitch there by Chase Fenno. And he comes, yeah. It's, Fresh out of the mound. This is not an easy pitcher. And, and a curveball goes out for a foul. He's got a ton of movement on his pitches and an unorthodox delivery. It's not easy for these guys to pick up on that baseball, especially um, in, these, in the, their first time facing him. The one-two pitch. Ooh, that looked outside good. for a ball. That looked like it was good there for a strikeout, but yeah. unable to. It's a two-two, two-two coming up with one out. Here's the pitch. Another curveball. And ball. a hit down the left field goes foul. And count still stays the same. 2-2 two -two with one out. He's grounded to second and it's only a And a calls bit. time. 2-2 two -two is the count. The wind winding deals. Here's the pitch. And goes again. A foul still staying alive here. It is Dylan Brady, Bradley, top of the order here in the top of the fourth inning. With one out. Oof, and ton, goes ton of movement inside, that came across outside. The, three two. Came across the plate, but a little too much movement on that one. He's got a good knuckleball, he's got a good curveball. Let's see what he does here. Here is the 3-2 pitch. The wine and deals. Outside and walks him. Yeah, that was, that ball has a ton of movement, especially as a righty pitching to a lefty. That ball is sweeping all the way across the plate, but he's trying to bury him inside, but it just came too, too far inside on the last two pitches there. Great attendance so far here at the uh, stadium. Uh, excuse me, at UMass start today by the student crowd here um, and their families. Here's the pitch. Inside, nice strike pitch. one. Tons of movement on that pitch, Ben. How's your curveball? All right? Should be fine. <laughs> and uh, goes outside, ball one there. That did look good. That was close. But really how you can throw a curveball, I learned this, is you have to have two fing three fingers, your thumb, your pointer finger, and the middle finger. And that's how you throw a little curve outside. 2-1 uh, coming up. Free, free lessons right by Ben Smith. 
No charge. And if you want to, you try to throw it like a football. If you want to do a curve ball, like a circle curve, and a grounder, and goes foul. Evens up, the, evens up the count at two and two. Nathan Levesque at Fenno ain't looking too shabby right now. No, he's to start. Good. He looks good so far. I mean, like I said, he's got a ton of movement. Definitely keeping the it's definitely a different look for the pitchers. Going to first. And the hitters. still safe at first base. Yeah, Bradley's got some speed over there. On deck is Caden Sear. Trying to keep him close to keep the double play ball open. The 2-2 pitch. And here's a hit. Down the left field line. Base hit. And the runner moves to second. And the runner goes to first. And this is the... Cadence here, who has been two for two so far. And let's look at an instant replay here nice. on this hit. Nice hit. I mean, nothing you can do. It just drops in between. Drops in right in, in the mid, mid outfield over there. It's not a really catchable ball. Good piece of hitting right there. But if you're Fenno, you got, now you have two on, one out. Got to get it out of the inning. You want to keep the ball on the ground. J pitch them inside. Try, try to get some... And that goes sort inside for a strike. Again, Fenno not looking too shabby. Here's the pitch down below. Ball one. A lot of breaking balls. Here's the pitch. Inside for a strike. That was the fastball inside, brought it inside. He's trying to do, he's trying to get that ground ball right there. So jam him inside, try to get him hopefully to ground out to second base. Maybe you can turn two, get out of this inning. One ball, two strikes, and one out. Here's the one two pitch. Swings it ground down, ball. ground ball, and goes to first. One two away here and moves a runner from third from second to third and first to second. And now here is uh, Austin Travis, who had that hit last inning. Uh, let's look at an instant replay of that hit by Caden Sear. Great nice, nice, nice job by Fenno, jamming him inside, getting the ground ball. It's, I mean, ideally you would have hit it second base, maybe you had a double play, but you get the out. That's all that matters. Get two outs, now you, now you try to get out of this inning right here. No damage, keep the ball on the ground. Don't leave it out on the outer half of the plate. You want Here's to keep pitch. on pitching outside if you can. I mean inside. Outside and 1 0. Outside again. Oh, strike one. Inside. One and one. There you go. That's the breaking ball. And another strike. breaking one, ball. Two. two strikes. All right, Chase, trying to put him away oh, in the threat right here. Second, two guys in scoring position. And they steps, call time here. Travis steps out of the box. Here's the pitch. Got him. Swing and a miss. And that, he's down on strikes and. Uh, nice job by Fenno getting out of the, getting out of any through the high, the high heater and got him chasing. No runs that inning, and so far, not looking too bad for Chase Fenno so far. Let's see. Coming up next, we have Aiden, uh, Eden Smith, Aiden Cruz, the Chase Lackey, the top of the order coming up right next here on Dartmouth Community Media. Do not go anywhere, folks. We are getting ready for the bottom of the second, uh, fourth inning here at the uh, baseball field at UMass starting with Ben Smith, Chad Amaral once again. Um, Aiden Smith, top of the order here. He went 0 for 1 last time. Yeah, he lined uh, out. Yep, he lined out on that one. Um, he only saw one pitch in his last at bat. Right now, Dartmouth, Levex. In, uh, facing the order for the second time in the fourth inning, not ideal for Dartmouth. They got to start getting to him now. 
and goes in there for a strike. Yeah, Levesque, he's been in control. He, he rarely falls behind in the count and he's... Down he's, below for a ball. So it's one and one here. And here's a chopper down left field. Now here's Smith going to first. And he's out. I think that was a close one there. Nice, yeah, nice hustle by Aiden. I, I think he got him. It, it was a slow chopper in the infield. Great job by, great play by the third baseman. Let's see it here. Yeah, great chopper. If it was like, a chopper and it, died, it slowed down, but yeah, he got him. He got him, yeah. Eight, Nice job by Aiden sliding. The athleticism, um, the uh, it, consistency. I mean, that, if you're a third baseman, you, he, it's not an easy play, and he had to handle it clean to even have a shot at Aiden. He did everything right. There's not much you can do. 1-0 pitch. Aiden Cruz at the at batting right now. He, on, uh, on deck is, oh, he got hit by the pitch there. And he'll go to first. It's the first base runner of the game for Dartmouth. And let's look at an instant replay here. Oh man, that's gonna leave a mark. Yeah, got him high on the shoulder, but as long as it, I mean, sure, it it hurt, but I mean for Dartmouth, you need a, you need a base runner. It's not the worst thing that it didn't. Hit. He'll be all right. He'll he'll have, he'll have a little bit of a mark, but he'll be okay. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Lackey looking a little antsy there. He pulled his front foot really early there. All you can do is try to hit it down left field right now if you're Dartmouth. And then get a runner to third and get a runner to second. Here's the hit down the left field line once again. Getting under it and Oof. two away. He got a good piece of it, but I, too much too much air under it, unfortunately. Cruz still stays nice. at first base. Nice job by Lackey. He hit it just before the warning track over there, but a lot of air under it. Easy to get under, unfortunately. Good piece. Lackey's seen him well. I mean, he's put two balls in the outfield that were hit pretty hard, but he just hasn't. They just can't get anything to drop. You wonder here with Dartmouth struggling to score, maybe get Aiden Cruz running on the base pass, get something going. Here's Chase Fennell, goes to first on the pinch run. Unable to get him out there. Ooh, ducks under it. And goes to first, and he's safe. That was like a critical situation there, as you can see. If you trying to get that pinch run there. Nice job by the catcher. But a great job by the catcher trying to get. He, he saw him leaning, so I had a chance, chance to get, get out of the inning. Good aggressive play. And in there. They know Dartmouth. They know Dartmouth's probably going to want to get uh, the jump with Aiden over there in first, so. Catches, paint him a little extra attention. Here's the pitch. Pitch out. And the pinch out. Oh, oh it and it he will not run. See, they, I mean, that was a pitch out right there. They 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 saw him leaning. Unfortunately for Aiden, he dove, Ooh. and he and he slid under the first baseman. So <laughs> it, was, it was really there was really no place for him to go. Unfortunately, even though it was thrown away, but I mean. Like I said, they're what they're giving him some extra attention. That ball was they didn't even try to throw a strike there. That was a pit, clear pitch out. And outside three one. The way Levesque's pitching, I, pro, I like I understand paying some of mine to the base runners, but he's literally not had a single hit against him, and the, his only blemish was a hit by pitch. I don't see and swing and a miss. A real reason to Three, two. focus on the base runner. Probably should worry about the batter with two outs. 3-2 full, full count and with two outs. Chase Fennell uh, on, uh, hitting right now and on deck 
is Donovan Virgo. 3-2. Swing oh, and a miss, nice and speed. he's down on strikes. And so far, Dartmouth has had him. a no-hitter today. Bef the pre-jinx by me, as usual. But uh, anyways, so far, 2-0. Uh, a Pontiquit leads at the end of the fourth. We will be starting the fifth inning right after this. Do not go anywhere. And we are back here at the field at UMass Dartmouth. Ben Smith, Chad Amaral here uh, to start the fifth inning. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss there and a strike one. Peter Rubini hitting. Fennell looked good in his first inning to work, trying to keep these bats Here's quiet. The pitch again. Nice pitch. And another strike. 0-2. Oh, what do you think, Ben? Curveball? No. Nope. Outside, ball one. What do you think? I think he's going curveball right here. Wine and deals. Here's a one two pitch. Oh, Swing oh. and a miss. And I was right, Ben. <laughs> and that will be a strikeout once again for Chase Fennel, looking pretty well so far. Yeah, he's got great movement on that curveball. It's. I mean, he's got it working right now. No harm in throwing it. Pretty windy one here, 65 degrees where we are sitting. And now here's the pitch. Oh! Hit him. Look, oh, did it just miss him? Just missed him. The pitcher, uh, Lucas Trembley there. Oh, a little bit outside. He's working him inside. 2-0. He's got Trembley uncomfortable here. He's throwing at his head, at his leg. Now you can work that outside. Here's the pitch. Inside for a strike. You know, you know, looking at this, it looks like when you see it coming inside and coming outside, you know, you're looking at the box. And it comes, oh, a little wild pitch there. 3-1. We needed a K-zone, you're saying? Yeah, like the K zone, so we can know when there's a strikeout. I'll tell you, Ben. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Chopper down the left field, now to first. Oh. And he bobbled it. Bobbled it. That was Taylor. Aiden easy Smith. An easy 6 3, do, six, three play. That's an easy error on Aiden there. He, he fielded it perfectly, just couldn't get the exchange from the glove to the hand. The fielder's choice. Unfortunately for, uh, for Aiden, yeah, he did everything right, but he just couldn't get the ball out of the glove. Fenno, the pitch to Jody. Ooh, got a fence. back our way. Hand up. Get a fence, strike. Ben, you'll be all right. <laughs> ben, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm good. All right. I thought we could have gotten killed. If, if the I'm, I'm guessing the fence would have saved us. If we didn't have any fences here, we would. If we didn't have any fence, I wouldn't be sitting right here. Seriously. <laughs> All right, here is the O2 pitch. Ben's flustered a little bit. A little bit outside, ball one. One and two coming up with one out. One and two, he's trying to work the inside, force the. Get him hit double play, get out of this inning. And here is the one two pitch. Ooh, Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And Penno's got that breaking ball working. He got he he had him lunging at the ball. He was not comfortable at all. Chase Fenno. And coach is talking to the bench after. Mm 
Nice job by Feno over there. He had a, he's got two outs. Trying to get out of this inning. Cam Sylvia doesn't have a hit today. He's 0 for 2. Get out of the inning. Hopefully. And a chopper and goes to second. First, excuse me. Six and three. He's down one, two, three inning. Excuse no. me, not one, two, three inning. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> As it is. Anyways, anyways, good, but still three outs and a scoreless inning. Uh, in, and retires the side for a Poniquet. Right now, two old Poniquet leads, and we will be back for the bottom of the fin fifth inning coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere. Bottom of the fifth inning here, and what a game so far for a Poniquet. Um, right now, two nothing score. Here is Donovan Burgo. Wine and deals. Not to get too technical, Ben, but Dartmouth, um, they need some hits. They have none so far, and it's been pretty easy so far for Levesque. I mean, he has five five Ks, but I mean, nothing's even been. They haven't even really challenged the opponent with defense. Everything everything's been pretty Outside. easy, routine right now. Outside for a ball. Two balls. And what a hit. Oh, that's going to go out. Play for a foul. Time called here. The one-two pitch. Chopper down the left field line, going to first. Safe. And he's safe. Burgo finally puts the hit on the board for Dartmouth. And let's look at an instant replay here. I think uh, it, was a, it, it was a routine ground ball, throws a little off, but it looked like he was there. I mean, I'll give Dartmouth the hit because I don't want it to be a no hitter necessarily, but like, it was close. I mean, that might have been an error on the shortstop. Throw was a little off. I don't know. We don't have an official score, but. And that's in there for a strike. Levesque, so far, looking good so far. Just allowing one hit. Here's the 0-1 pitch, outside for a ball. Dartmouth bench getting fired up. You know they need something here, start a little rally. And grounder, and that will be a foul ball, strike two. Jack Joquin 0 for 1 so far, um, as he, um, Flown out, excuse me, struck out on his first outing today. Dartmouth beat upon quit last time that these two teams played earlier in the season, 6-4, but they did not face Levesque. Jolie started that game, so this is their first look at him, and so far he's he's quiet. He's kept him quiet. And the count stays still stays the same. One two. Jack Joquin. Burgo doesn't have much of a lead Wine at first. deals. Ball two. The 2-2 two -two pitch. And swung and a miss, and he's down on strikes. 0 for 2 for him so far, and one out for Dartmouth. Not looking good for them. Like and Matt Laverley uh, comes in for Ryan Coppel Coppola here. Yeah, they need a spark. I mean, no. Here's Laverley, the pitch outside, ball one. Trying to bring in the lefty, lefty on righty. Trying to mix things up, get the offense going. And a fly ball down the middle, and two men trying to get it. 
yeah. and under it, two gone. And now brings up the uh, designated hitter, number 25, Christian Silva. Christian Silva had a pop fly earlier that resulted into an out. And that'll be in there for a strike. Christian Silva is 0 for 1 on the day. Ground out to second. Outside, oh, inside for a ball, a strike. I don't like that call there. No, not great. That, I mean, not the tough. brightest call. <laughs> the but, I mean, that's like, it's frustration setting in. I mean, the umps haven't really played that big a role in this game so far. It's when you're not hitting, you have one hit, it's not the umps' fault. That, so right now, Dartmouth's probably got to focus on getting their bats going and not worry about the ump. I mean, he's, he's calling the outside strike, but you know that. He's pretty. He's been pretty consistent on both sides. The one-two pitch. Here's Levesque. Chopper now goes to first. Two away. Excuse me, three gone. And that retires the side. Dartmouth still scoreless. All you got to pray for is a miracle in the next inning coming up. Uh, right now, we that is the end of the inning. Dartmouth still scoreless, uh, two nothing. We'll be right back right after this. And welcome back, you guys, to our telecast on Dartmouth Community Media. A uh, two nothing score. Upon a quit is up right now. Um, so far, Chad, what are your thoughts on the game? Um, it's. I mean, for the seniors, it's it's senior day, so you, you want the maybe maybe right now you can get that big push at the end. I mean, it's, it's Dartmouth has played good defense. They just haven't had any any uh, offense going. I mean, Levesque kept them quiet, but the pitching hasn't been bad for Dartmouth. I mean, they only given up two runs. So they I mean, and they've done a good job of. Um, they've had some. Aponquitz had a few base runners, but the pitchers have bared down, gotten the outs that they needed to. Other than. Two unfortunate runs in the first and third. Three balls, zero strikes, three and oh. On the top of the sixth. Here's the pitch, the 3 0 pitch. Outside, ball four. And still, Dartmouth. So now we're back at the top of the top of the order for um, Ponequit. Oh, yeah, that. bad little pitch there from Fenno. That ball ran a little too far inside. Here's the pitch, outside, ball two. You got the strike. Oh, he got a strike. And now here's Fenno. Oh, off the foot and a wild pitch. A runner goes to second. He's taking Does a turn, but he's gonna stay at second. And he will stay at second. I thought he was so gonna go to third there, but. Burgo's got a strong arm, probably not the, I mean, you got a 2-0 lead. No outs, you're probably not gonna take a big chance right there, it's no need. Here's the pitch. Chopper down the line and save oh. there and goes into first. Wow. And what a, oh. oh they called him safe. Oh man. Excellent play by That's Aiden an Smith. excellent play that, by Smith. That ball took a crazy hop. Let's look at the replay. I Look at the ball taking crazy hop at the edge of the grass over here. And Aiden adjusts perfectly. Over takes bounces over his head as he slides. He throws. Yeah, that's yeah no, safe. he's safe. Oh man, that stinks. That's one. So it, was, that, it, it really was an amazing play. Unfortunately, one. it was it was the right call. That's one I would take back. A runner on third and a runner on first. Here's the pitch. And in there for a strike.
We got the pitcher, Nate Levesque. He's, he's been really, really good today. He's had a great game. And the ball goes under the dirt. Ball one. He's two for two at the plate. He, he is pitching a one hitter. I mean, can't ask for much more from him today. Here's the pitch. And in there for a ball. Two balls, one strike, zero outs. Man on second and first. Third and first, excuse me. Yeah, so right now, I mean, I'm guessing the run is probably going to take a... And here's a fly ball down the field, he's down tag, towards the warning track. And going home is one run. Not much you can do there. Not you. And Darm, uh, upon Quint enhances their lead. Three to nothing. The ball was hit deep enough where it was an easy tag up. I mean, at that point, the outfielder shifts his attention to the runner on first base because now you're trying to keep him out of scoring position because there's nothing, you're not going to throw him out at home. Here's Fenno on the pitch and goes our way and out and has a foul. A runner on first base. And a, I got to say, a great run off the sacrifice there by Aponiquit. And able to score. Yeah, they're, they're moving the runners. And I mean, it's a clo close game. Everyone's big. And to first. Two away. Nice job by Aiden. Ball was hit deep in the hole. Makes a good throw to first base. Nice, nice job. You know, despite the. Despite the fact that he um, see this had that right excellent kind of, I thought it wasn't out, but nice, nice job by Aiden. I mean, that ball slowed down a little bit. He knew he, knew, knew he had to make a big, good throw. Nice throw to first, get the out. Aiden Smith really consistent, as you can see clearly. Uh, now here we go. Here's the pitch. Austin Trapp. in there for a strike. Austin Travis. Uh, Austin Travis there. One for three with two strikeouts. He struck out last at bat against Fenno. Austin Travis, the senior here. There's three seniors on this team. Yeah, that's what the coach was saying earlier. Ponequit, really young team um, that started off slow got and has played better towards the end of the season, as we're seeing today. They, they look really good. I mean, this is a team that comes into today nine and ten, but they're not. They don't look like a team that's nine and ten. They're they're playing really well. They're looking like a team who's averagely decent right now, as I can say. Here's the pitch. Outside. Oh, averagely averagely decent. That's it. Really decent. Really average. good. I would say they're a really good team. Averagely decent. I'll just say that for now. You know, you got the above average and. So you're, a, you're a harsh grader. I mean, I would say that they look really, really good. They're three. They're up three nothing, throwing a one hitter. But you're a tougher grader than me, Ben. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Here is the three and one pitch. The wine and deals. Here's the pitch. Outside. Oh, it's a strike. Now we're going to a full count. Yeah, he thought he walked. He thought he had the walk there. Three, two, and two. Three balls, two strikes, and two outs. Let's see what Dartmouth can do here. Got a runner on second, and a time is called. So the runner's going here, so with two outs, full count. The runner's going to be on the move. So outs at big, big, big out right here for Fenno. The payoff pitch and a hit, and it's out in the glove there from Marcus Andrews. And that retires the side. Not looking good in their favor so far, but still, you can't nice, blame nice that. Nice rip, but easy, easy play over there at second. Easy play there, like way to get said. out, way to get out of the inning. Going in the middle of the sixth, Dartmouth with some work to do. Down three on senior night. Maybe the seniors can get him going this next inning. All right, and coming up next we have Louis Freitas, Aiden Smith, and Aiden Cruz. Right after this, do not go anywhere, folks. Welcome back, everybody, and so far has been a blowout game for Aponiquit as a 3-0 score in Dartmouth. 
is trailing, but what are your thoughts on the game so far? Ben, so 3-0, big week of 3-0, coming back from 3-0 deficits. Yeah, the Celtics came back, are uh, uh, working their way back <laughs> from 3-0. The Lakers could have done it. But oh, no. yeah, that, yeah they, they, they couldn't have, but maybe maybe Dartmouth has some of the magic over here. Come <laughs> back from a 3-0, 3-0 within a game. Not quite a three-game deficit, but 3-0. You know, 3-0, the Celtics are trying to get back to it. Um, you know, the Bru uh, the Red Sox in 04. Th didn't the Bruins do it in 2013 or something? Against the Leafs. The 2004. Were, how, how old were you in 2004, I wasn't ben? even born. You weren't even born. <laughs> I was at the game, Bloody Sock game. Game six, Kurt Schilling on the mound. Is that when Alex Rodriguez did that? Little play there um, when he, he cut, yeah chopped Bronson Arroyo's hand yeah yes it is oh uh, you must have been mad there <laughs> yeah well, but I was at Yankee Stadium so yeah I couldn't be too mad because a lot of people were on me <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> but I did, had my Pedro jersey on and this you what year were you born two thousand seven man <laughs> wow <laughs> I am old uh, all right I was expecting you to say that you were didn't really remember it, but I thought you were born. Um, but you were you were you were in college at the time when that? I was in college, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, 2004. The 1-0 pitch, grounder, down to third, now to first, two away. Fortunately for Dartmouth, they, they can, I mean, there hasn't real, they haven't even really had a threat so far. And now Aiden Cruz comes up to the mound. Aiden Cruz had a walk the last time he was at bat. He got hit by a pitch. Hit by pitch, excuse me, in a slash walk. But here's the pitch. Here's the chopper down to the left field, now to first. And that will go as a one, two, three inning for the Indians. Uh, so far, not looking good in Dartmouth's favor, but <laughs> not a lot of magic so far, as they say. But anyways, 3 nothing upon a quit leads. We will be right back with the f seventh and final inning of today's game. Ben Smith on the call will be right back. And welcome back to the coverage here. Um, here on Dartmouth Community Media. Thank you all for coming on and watching this matchup today. Ben Smith and uh, Chad Amaral on the call today. And Chad, what does Dartmouth have to do in order to stop a Ponequit from scoring in this inning and making them score four runs to end this game? Um, I mean, you gotta make this a quick inning. We got Jacob Lan uh, Lancaster in the game. Um, Another new pitcher for Dartmouth. I mean, the pitching hasn't been the problem for Dartmouth. The fact that they have no runs in one hit, that's the pro that's been the problem for Dartmouth. Lancaster hits it, and that will go out. Lancaster, the senior, pitching on senior night, senior day here. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball. Breaking ball, and that will go in as a strike two. See, this is why I like Jacob Lancaster in this situation. He's a really good pitcher. He's really aggressive. He really has a lot of the abilities and whatnot. Yeah, it's he. He's a he's a big guy up there. I mean, right now, you, you make quick work, and then but it's up to the Dartmouth offense. I mean, hold him down here if you're. Nice. And a nice swing play. and a miss. Nice pitch. And strike three, and he's down on strikes. One out. Now here is Lancaster. Lancaster. Here's the pitch. Nice pitch. Inside for a strike. This is why he's a really great reliever if you look at it. Uh, he's got some skills. He, is he right there. I'm sure he's fired. I'm sure he's fired up. You know, I mean, he's a senior. It's, I mean, at this point, not there's no games guaranteed to to them after this. So 
A lot of adrenaline coming in out of, coming in a big spot. Two and strikeouts. Strike three. And he's down on strikes. And right now, 0 for 2 so far. Yeah, Lancaster looking good out of the pen. In outside for our ball. If you coach Frazier, you're, you're pumped with your your pitching. Your pitching did really well today. Swing and a miss and a strike one. To give up three runs, you expect to win. That level of consistency there from um, Jacob Lancaster so far well, is really on. He's attacking the strike zone. Strike two, swing and a miss. He's coming in here, made quick work of a Poniquit. Hopefully they can take this momentum into the bottom half of the inning because they, they need it. The one-two pitch, swing and a miss, and that retires the side for a Poniquit. What a great uh, inning from Dartmouth. A first one, two, three inning so far for today. But right uh, for Dartmouth on defense. Dartmouth's got, they, they got to make the most of these next three outs. Got, they got to score three, at least three runs. Keep it going. Yep. And we will have coverage of the final inning here on Dartmouth Community Media. Do not go anywhere, folks. And we are here for the seventh and final inning, the final outing for Dartmouth. Is it, this is a do or die chance for Dartmouth either way. Uh, they're still gonna be in the playoffs and this is a chance for Aponiquit to reach the playoffs for um, yeah, it was definitely a bigger game for Poniquit. That's why you saw Poniquit throw out their ace, and Dartmouth and Dartmouth held back their top two pitchers in this game. So, I mean, it's the third game of the week for Dartmouth. They've thrown out a lot of their pitchers. It's, but right here you have one last chance, one last crack at Levesque. Swing and a miss and a strike. Blackie's fl flew out twice in this game, but he's made good contact every time he put the last ball just short of the warning track. Here's the pitch They're down going, below. Dartmouth going senior heavy right here. We got Jacob Lancaster on deck after pitching last inning. So they got the two seniors back to back looking for the senior spark right here on senior day. Here's the pitch down below, 3-1. All you gotta do is keep the eye on the ball and let them, I don't know, just well, right get now, them you, off. You, you need base runners. Swing and a miss, and a strike. Full count here, 3-2. Unfortunately for Dartmouth, I mean, Levesque has great command of the zone. I mean, even falling behind 3-1 comes back with a nice strike right there. And out on strikes. Strike three, I mean, Levesque continues. I mean, that's a that was a strike. Jacob Lancaster. Not on the outer half, but it was a strike, unfortunately. Jacob Lancaster coming onto the mound here. Jacob Lancaster has one at bat this season. This will be number two. No better time for a hit than right now. Swing and a miss and a strike. Levesque is staying really consistent so far. Played through all seven innings. Swing and a miss once again for Lancaster. 0-2. Lancaster trying to get... Cross, cross the ball, he's pulling his head big time on that one. Settle in here, take a deep breath. Let's make contact. Here's a pitch, swing and a miss, two down, one more to go. And now here's the catcher, Donovan Burgo. So far he had that hit earlier in the game. That only hit today for Dartmouth. Yep, I mean, they need something now. They were, <laughs> they, there's no, there's no, no more outs to go. Let's. It's their last chance, let's go. If they're gonna have a rally, it's gotta be now. Here's the pitch. In there for a strike. I mean, if Dartmouth came to, the, the tough thing for Dartmouth is, Levesque, had, he, he, he stays on top of you all game, on top of him all game. He's, he's rarely been behind an account. Outside for a ball there. 
one and one. If you're looking for walks, this is, it hasn't been the game to get him because Levesque isn't throwing. He, he, he attacks the strike zone consistently. There's strike two. Down to the, down to the last strike right here. A high level of pressure coming along his way here. The, I think you should just call time right here. <laughs> Here's the pitch. And hits it, and that will be a foul. And the fans are up and loud. Yeah, this is it. Bro, got a piece right there, but. I, I forgot mean. the pitcher calls time. I mean, that was on me. Here's a pitch. Outside, two and two. Pressure spot for Burgo right here. Got a, got a lot of pressure coming among your way. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Wine and deals. Here's the two-two pitch, and hits it in a foul once again. He's hanging in. <laughs> that, that was a uh, off speed inside. Nice job. Nice job. Just getting a piece of it. The fans are making me laugh today. <laughs> A lot of school spirit among their ways here at UMass Dartmouth. Yeah, the seniors are out of school, right? Yeah, here's the pitch. Hits it and goes out and another foul once again. Today was the seniors' last day. They exited around 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, they had their senior run through the halls this morning as well, senior sign out day. Um, prom Thursday, uh, graduation on the 5th will be here on Dartmouth Community Media. Um, Four. Here's the pitch. And in there, and that's the game. And a punt quit will go to the playoffs. And Dartmouth will end the season at a 14 and six record, but a great season for this young Dartmouth team. And, but losing seven seniors this year, what have they, what do they need to improve to in the playoffs? Not an ideal way to end the season if you're Dartmouth, but like, like I said earlier, it was a three-game week. I mean, you, you, you didn't have a ton of pitchers available. It's, and Levesque was perfect. I mean, he, he kept the Dartmouth hitters off balance all game. So it, it, it is what it is. It's not the way you wanted to end it, but Aponiquip played really, really well. All right, that will be it for today. Uh, our final score is 3 to nothing. Uh, Aponiquip takes the win here. Uh, and closes out the season at 10 and 10, and Dartmouth closes out with 14 and 6 record. From our entire crew in the truck, uh, Adam Souza, Molly Bell, uh, Peter Chase, and un all of our entire crew, uh, Chad Amaral, my uh, partner, and I'm Ben Smith. Until next time, everyone, so long, everybody. <laughs>